Welcome to this demonstration of Control Crosstalk for Adobe InCopy. In this demonstration, we are going to show you the key features of the Control Crosstalk plugin and how it is used. We will also explain how the collaboration between an InDesign and an InCopy user functions and how Control Crosstalk greatly simplifies this process. This demonstration is done on a Mac. There are no differences other than appearance for Windows users. If you are not familiar with Adobe InCopy, the application can, in simple terms, be described as a powerful text editor for InDesign documents, without the layout capabilities of InDesign. InCopy is an ideal tool for copywriters or any other content provider working in a group that has InDesign documents as their focus. InDesign users have full control over the document and InCopy users are assigned to edit specific portions of the text. We are now going to edit an InDesign document in InCopy with the Control Crosstalk plugin installed. We take a normal InDesign file and open it in InCopy. Before the file opens, we are prompted with a dialog asking if we want to convert the document to a Crosstalk document. This is actually the only interaction with Control Crosstalk the user experiences. We click Yes and the document opens. We choose the text we are going to edit. make our changes and then save and close the document. Very simple. So what and where is the benefit of crosstalk? We have now uninstalled control crosstalk leaving in copy with all of its default settings and plugins. We take the same file as in, in the previous example and attempt to open it using InCopy. The file opens. We are greeted with a message saying that this document contains no InCopy stories and that Galley View and Story View are not available. We should, however, still be able to edit the text in Layout View, right? We choose the text we want to edit and start typing, and nothing happens. The reason why InCopy users are not able to edit the text as we previously did with Control Crosstalk installed is because the InDesign document needs to be prepared with assignments. This is something that needs to be done from InDesign by an InDesign user manually. Here in InDesign, text boxes need to be designated as assignments and for each assignment an InCopy story file is created. In order to make this entire document editable using InCopy, an InDesign user needs to create almost 50 InCopy story files selecting and assigning them one at a time. What once was a single InDesign file is now almost 50 files. Let's take a look again at how the Control Crosstalk plugin bypasses all these files and assignments and enables InCopy users to edit the InDesign file without any of the preliminary processes otherwise required. We simply open the InDesign file in InCopy, select Yes when asked to convert it to Crosstalk, and then choose any text we want to edit. We make our changes save and close the document. Now you've seen the benefit of the Control Crosstalk plugin. Thank you for watching and please visit our website for more information.